In an earlier video, we described the idea that some of the New Testament material found in the Book of Mormon may actually have originally come, in both cases, from passages in the Old Testament. This video continues to explore this topic and presents evidence for the possibility that, in some instances of parallels between the New Testament and the Book of Mormon, both may have been utilizing similar combinations or collections of Old Testament passages that were already linked in ancient times. For example, while some have seen similarities between 1 Peter 2 and Jacob 4, when analyzed more closely, it is apparent that both are actually using a similar collation of Old Testament passages from Psalm 118, Isaiah 8, and Isaiah 28. Instead of simply copying 1 Peter 2, it is evident that the Book of Mormon happens to be using exactly the same set of ancient scriptures, while choosing to emphasize different phrases. Many other examples exist of places where ancient writers used an assemblage of phrases drawn from various sources that were likely widely understood and circulated as collections of this nature of related phraseology. It is interesting for modern readers of the Book of Mormon to note that this ancient Jewish logical and literary technique of blending various scriptural phrases into one composite quotation, often without attribution, is found abundantly in the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon's use of groups of scriptural passages similar to those used in places in the New Testament can now be seen not so much as an imitation of the New Testament, but more likely as their similar adhesion of words from ancient biblical passages, all dealing with a given keyword or topic. And now you know why.